Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a multimedia map using Scribble Maps. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm at scribblemaps.com, and it's important to note that everything I'm going to do in this demo, you can do without signing up or signing into an account. In fact, here we are. You can see that I am not even logged in or registered for any kind of account to do everything I'm about to show you. Now, the first thing you should know is on the bottom right corner, you can choose your base map. The default here is a selection of Google Maps. You can see I have road, hybrid, satellite, terrain, or traffic. But if I click that little drop down menu, I have some other choices, including the National Geographic Education Map. Or I can use some of the Esri base layers, including their satellite view. World Street View, physical and topographic map. You can change those out. Let's do our World Street View. I'm going to go back to the Google map here, and I'm going to use the road map that I had at the start of this video. Now, the first feature you should know is the feature that's right in the name of Scribble Maps, and that is the ability to scribble on a map. Now, you can just click this drawing tool here and you can draw on the map. And if you want to change out that color, just go up here to this change color option, and you can maybe use a nice shade of red or pink. And now you have red lines on your map. You can adjust those, you can change your fill colors there. You can even change your line thickness. I want to make that line really thick. And so now I have a nice thick red line there on my map. If I want to erase that, well, let's just go here and use our eraser and erase those lines that we've drawn on the map. And so I'm going to just erase all those lines that I've put on the map, and they're gone. Now, we can also do things like draw straight lines. So you can see right there, and it's going to snap to draw a straight line. I don't have to worry about scribbling. Okay. If I want to merge my lines, yeah, let's merge them. That's a handy little feature. Let's merge those lines. And we can draw our nice straight lines. Now, again, if I want to remove those, just grab the eraser and remove them. Okay. Now, here's where we can start using some of the multimedia options. I'm going to put some place markers on the map. So I want to go to, let's say, Rugby, North Dakota. And that's going to jump me right to Rugby, North Dakota. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Zoom out a little bit more so there's some context for where we are in the world. And now I'm going to add a marker. Just click Add Marker. And we can add that in. Now, I've just erased it by using the eraser tool. I'm going to add it back in by using the marker tool. And we have tons of different markers that we can pick from. And let's just use our standard ones here. If I'm going to use a push pin, I'll use that bright green push pin. I'm going to drop it right there back on Rugby, North Dakota. I'm going to put that in there. And I'll write in my description and write something like, this is the geographic center of North America. Now, here's where it becomes multimedia. You can see here, I can include a link. And so I can put in here, read more about rugby. And then I'll put in my link to a page about it. So let's put in our link to the cityofrugbynorthdakota.com and insert that. And now we have our link. Now I'm going to add even more into this place marker. We can see here we can add videos. We can add images. One of the things to keep in mind if you're adding images is they have to be hyperlinked images. They have to be images you find online or have hosted online. They, you can't do a direct upload. Let's do a, a video here, and we'll put in a link to a YouTube video about Rugby, North Dakota. 
So the link that I'm going to include here is this one, a video about the debate over the geographic center of North America. Let's put that link right in there and insert it into our place marker. Now let's go ahead and save that. And now we have that place marker saved on our map. And I can switch back to drawing mode at any time. Let's go back here and draw. And I'm going to circle it right there on my map. Now, if I want to revisit this later and work on it later, there's an important thing we need to do over here. On the left-hand side, let's open up this menu. And we can see we've got a bunch of different options here. So we can save it to the computer. If we click on this, we're going to see there that means we're going to have to upgrade. But I can save the map here. I'll use that save option. And we'll just call this one Geographic Center of North America. And again, this is the free saving option. I'm going to set a password for it. So I'll set my default password there. Now, it's important to note your map ID. And if you're having students do this, they need to write down that map ID. I would have them copy it and paste it into a sticky note, a Google Keep note, a OneNote notebook note. Have them save it somewhere because they will need that in order to go back in and find the map again and edit the map again. And our description here, this is a map of the geographic center of North America. And let's save that. So we're going to copy our map ID. We're going to make sure we remember our password. We get it in the title, our description, and save that map. And we're going to see that that map is going to be public. So don't put anything in the map that you wouldn't want to share with a public audience. Say understand. And now we have our share link. And I can share that with anybody to view my map. Our edit link. And again, important for students to save a sticky note that has that edit link along with their map ID if they want to go back in and edit. And we can just get a link to an image of the map as well. And finally, we see there the widget for embedding the map into a blog post or website. So you can copy and paste that code and use that to put the map into your blog or website. So that's an overview of how you can create a multimedia map using scribblemaps.com. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.